welcome back to the channel. Today's a bit of a busy day and a late start. It's 2.30, I'm just getting up to the farm, mostly because I had to drive 40 miles an hour because I have a fertilizer spreader. But yeah, that's what we're doing today. We're gonna be spreading fertilizer. Hopefully, that's gonna get everything the kickstart that it needs to start greening up, even though it's earlier. All right, so we got the fertilizing's underway. Everything seems to be going good so far. Uh, fields are looking all right for this time of year. It's April, I don't know what to expect. It's not gonna be green right away, not here in Manitoba anyway. It's just starting to green up. It's starting to look good. We've mowed it once, so now the green is starting to pop just a bit. It's still dormant, so this will help wake it up a bit. up with the fertilizer I'm almost done got a couple more passes to do it's too late to take the hopper back today so it's gonna wait till Monday they're closed for the weekend but it went well I didn't have any breakdowns the spreader worked good and yeah just a nice easy day it's just starting to rain a little bit now so that was good timing get the fertilizer on the ground the rain will start to break it down a little bit and it'll add nutrients to the soil the grass will grow quicker it'll start to green up we're trying not to put it down too heavy because if you start putting fertilizer down too heavy it starts causing problems with the soil a lot of, it can cause a lot of imbalances with your pH and your nitrogen levels. You can actually destroy your soil by adding too much, too much chemical, too much fertilizer. So we try to keep it fairly moderate. All things in moderation. You don't want to go too heavy. say the triple nickel because you just rebuilt the engine on that 4430 I don't want it idling for a long period of time because the gears on that tractor are not low enough to run at a higher rpm to pack we need to go fairly slow triple nickel has a low low medium high and range on that transmission so you can run it a, a lower gear low speed 
higher RPM. So we're, we're going to go with that one. It'll probably need a boost because it was dead in the spring. But I'm also, I'm going to have to move, I have to move Jeepers, those two wheel arms, 4430, my flat deck's behind there. And I should be able to squeeze the rollers through to get them over here to fill up with water. So I gotta do that. It starts so much better since we rebuilt that engine. Uh, we'll get this triple five fired up here. And uh We'll see. Hopefully she hopefully she goes. I'm gonna have to move the fertilizer spreader and stuff and pull my truck up and give it a boost. Cables hooked up, red to red, black to black. Beauty. It starts good. I just need a battery for it. Okay, so slight change of plans. Triple five has no transmission fluid left in it. I'm sure there's some, but it's not touching the stick. And I'm not wrecking a transmission, I'm trying to just fill up some packers and get stuff ready for tomorrow. I have to, and I have no uh, transmission fluid here for that machine. So since the 4430 was already running, I'm gonna hook it up to there for now just to fill up the packers, take the packers down to the field I want done. And then uh, I'll grab some transmission fluid and bring it up with me tomorrow. suction line I kind of figured it was here especially since I couldn't find it at home or in the shop it's always the same the beginning of the season you forget where you left it in the fall and can't quite remember because it's usually a rush the snow is coming get this thrown in the water and start pumping water into the land roller. All right, we got the hose all hooked up. Had to uh, modify it because I have a broken hose. So I stuck a little connecting joint there for now. Up the one inch line and into the, 
the packer. Once that one's full, move on to the next one, and then the next one, and then, then we're done. Put our plug in. Well, while I'm waiting for this one to fill, I'm gonna explain a little bit more about this packer. We built this packer, I believe it was 2014. We made this one, dad bought the pipe for it. This was all one big piece. So it's an inch and a half thick sidewall piping. And uh, I believe it was 33 feet long. So we made it into a three section. We did this when our fields were flooded, so we had a couple weeks, and we needed a much bigger land roller. Our original one that we had, I think, was 12, 12 or 13 feet wide. So basically, just as wide as the tractor. So more than likely 12 feet. And it was just too slow, so we needed one that was a little bit bigger. And this one works out pretty good. We get it done way faster than we used to. We didn't quite finish it yet. Um, the original plan was we were going to put hydraulic cylinders here so we could fold the wings up. That's why it's on pins. That's going to be coming in the near future. The only thing I wish we had done better was the bearings. Now these bearings, they're okay, they work good, but we didn't always have the, the hole in the drum to fill it. So they were heavy enough on their own, like this This pipe was fairly heavy, obviously at 33 feet and inch and a half thick. So I don't think these bearings are quite heavy enough and eventually one day we'll probably end up switching it out to a heavier bearing style, that or we'll have to weld another box out here and put a second bearing on here. That's what I think we'll end up having to do. looks like most of the fertilizers dissolved already so we got some rain in the past couple days that's a good sign so tomorrow I'm gonna get uh, someone's gonna be packing someone's gonna be trimming and what we're gonna do now is we've trimmed it once and we're gonna set the mowers at a little bit lower height we'll trim it down a little bit shorter again if we can, we might do it one more time. Just so it takes all the brown off the top and the green the green really pops up a lot quicker when you do it that way. Because if you don't take the top, the brown top off, it's gonna take a long time for it to green up. So that'll be tomorrow. And then once I get those guys started up tomorrow, I'm gonna take uh, the fertilizer spreader back. What time is it here? 5.30. I might try to get some mulching done yet today. I got a couple hours of light left. We'll see, because by the time I get back to the truck, I take the truck out to the, to the mulcher, I get the mulcher warmed up, and get going. It'll probably be about six o'clock, quarter after six, so I'll have about two and a half hours of light left. It's got nice fancy LED lights on it, so I'm not too concerned about working in the dark, but I don't want to get back too late and not 
be able to get out here early. Because once I get started working, I usually have this bad habit of just keep going and going and going and going until the job is finished. But that job, I know already, is going to take me almost... I don't want to say the whole summer, because I want to get it done before the whole summer's over. But we'll see. Depends on how busy we are. If we're really busy, I won't have a whole lot of time to do it. Well, I got finished up mulching for this evening. I got a fair chunk done. I didn't get the last little bit that I wanted to. I got this little section here left, and then I got the whole length of the field way down the far side of the ditch there. I got the full, almost the full length of the field from the, the back ditch up against the, the bush. But I ran out of government juice, so decided to call her quits before it started saying I was going to start lacking power and I don't want to cause any problems with that. Guess I'm going to head for home. Now I'll keep going tomorrow after I get back from dropping off that fertilizer spreader. Anyways guys, I'm going to call it quits here for the video today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. God bless.